Although we've been referring to aeronautical charts in our past videos, we are going to go into more detail in the next series of videos. The three types of charts discussed in this video differ in level of detail and scale depending on which type of chart you are looking at. Sectional charts are what we will be using most often in these videos, and although paper charts are available to use for flight simming, we will be using Sky Vector for these videos. 37 sectional charts cover the United States as we can see here. I'm not sure if Sky Vector does the same, but the paper charts are updated every six months and are on a scale of 1 to 500,000, or think one inch on the chart to every 500,000 inches actual Earth. So one inch on the chart is about 6.86 nautical miles. The only thing I will say about World Aeronautical Charts, or WACs, is that they have been discontinued by the FAA, so I won't go into detail here, but mention it so that you are aware. The Terminal Area Chart, or TAC for short, is more detailed than the Sectional Chart and focuses on areas surrounding very busy airports. Often these are Class B airports. If you look at a sectional chart, you will see a white border surrounding the airports indicating there is a corresponding TAC chart. Notice in SkyVector.com for St. Louis Lambert International Airport, we have the white border around it indicating there's a TAC chart. You can see that chart by clicking on the St. Louis TAC button in SkyVector, which pulls up the terminal area chart for that airport. The scale in these charts is 1 to 250,000, which means 1 inch equals 3.43 nautical miles, and again, these are updated every 6 months, at least for the paper charts. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.